sure so the recording has started let me let me first ask you guys i know many of you know about rpa let me first hear from you what do you think rpa is anyone please a anything whatever concept or whatever line you have in mind regarding rpa please go ahead anyone so, so robotic process uh, automation is basically uh, something uh, which you can automate uh, mm -hmm. not necessarily like a qa automation it's mainly mm -hmm. from a business process automation right rather yes. than you automate the front end ui you try to automate the business side of the uh, aspect okay okay fair enough anyone else maybe it is how machine interacts with the data uh, mm -hmm. i mean data triggers like it, mm -hmm. it could be uh, you know, once you set it, then human interaction may not be there. Uh, depending upon some data triggers, the, uh, the automation would set in or the machine would do the useful thing. Mm -hmm. Okay, 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 good point. Anyone else? Ankita, Priyanka, Amit, would you like to add something to this? So, anything which are manually done, uh, which, mm -hmm. are, uh, which can be automated and which are mm -hmm. automatically done uh, through machines to computer uh, without mm -hmm. any human intervention. Okay. Okay. Good point. Good point. Priyanka. And any other point you would you like to add to this? And uh, no, Harshit. Uh, even I am. I agree with Ankita's definition. Sure. All points. All points. Uh, you know, uh, rele relevant to this uh, RPA. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, so, one point uh, I would like yeah, to add. Sorry. Uh, you can take please, decisions. Yeah, RPA. You can take decisions. Right. That's a. Uh, one of the key advantage you can take a call whether if this happens then what should happen next so that that is that is a main advantage compared to the other automation no we'll we'll, we'll come to this point i'm noting this point Shirag, regarding the decision part and we need to discuss slightly in length on this we'll come to this sure. we'll come to sure. this. Okay. Sure. so guys yeah all points were relevant so rpa in a nutshell if i may say it simply means mimicking the working of a human using a software bot okay so whatever you are doing as a human let's say as you a process okay let's say every day you have to log into your company portal whatever company you're working in you have to log into your company portal you have you uh, open the uh, browser you you know you give the url you enter the credentials your portal opens you perform some steps let's say at the end one one file downloads maybe a spreadsheet okay and then you modify that spreadsheet and save it uh, for, uh, create, uh, create a new mail, for, uh, write a new mail, and send it to maybe your tech lead manager or any colleague, okay? Let's say you have to do this every day, okay? So, steps are repetitive, right? Every day you will be performing the same steps, right? In the evening, you fire the browser, go to the URL, log in, download, save as, then send an email, right? So, if we create a process, if we create an automation, and by RPA we means, software automation okay software bot we are talking about software bots so if you automate this process using an rpa tool we develop it test it and we start this the process would be running but without your intervention okay software bot would be mimicking your actions the way you open the browser it will also open and i'm going to show you in demo towards the end of the session the process will work exactly the same but without your intervention so this is RP in a nutshell means automating repetitive tasks which are which are manual time consuming and this helps in saving up the human capacity okay so this is RP in a nutshell mimicking human using software mimicking human actions using software bot any questions on this is it clear yes 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 clear, yes, clear yes, to okay. everyone okay now, before we discuss more about RPA, we need to discuss very important point, which is, I think, which was, I think, mentioned by someone, someone that, I think it was mentioned by Priyanka, that if she wants to go to automation testing or RPA, right? Priyanka, this was your point? Uh, yes, Arshit. Okay. Let's first discuss this point in detail because it's a very important point. So, guys, RPA tools also automate and some automation testing tools, let's say, uh, I think QTP is automation testing tool, right? H QTP by HP. Yeah. QTP and or Selenium. Yeah, Selenium. Yes, Selenium. So these tools also automate. But there's a very big difference on what they are doing. While you are, when you're talking about automation testing tools, 
the automation is mostly limited to testing the functionality maybe the you know web portal or no some some, uh, some small application you have, you have created it's basically limited to testing that specific page repeatedly okay while testing you create test test suites right you create test suits in test suite there are multiple test cases so what is the test case a set of steps you have to execute in a sequence that's what a test case is right now to save up your time you just you know create the task case create the scripts be it, be it in selenium qtp or whatever automation testing tool you're using in using so that is just automating those specific number of steps for you to save time okay that is that is the use of automation testing tools that is the limited scope with automation testing tools you can't automate a space in a, a given process from end to end let's say in a process you have to you know open first application then another application then third maybe a mainframe maybe a web portal desktop application so you can't you know automate all these steps in automation testing tools okay the scope is very limited is, is my point clear now coming to rpa tools most of the tasks which you can perform as a human you know in whatever application you are interacting with be it mainframe be it uh, desktop application be it citrix machine any virtual machine on vmware citrix okay all these things can be automated i mean a whole process can be automated using rpa tool okay that's the biggest difference means the scope the purpose of rpa tools is much 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 bigger than the automation testing tools is it clear to everyone yes Sure. So they both automate, but automation testing tools have very limited scope, and they are created for a totally different purpose. Okay, if if I if I give an analogy, see, you can travel from point A to point B on a bicycle also, right? And you can travel on foot. You can travel in a car from A point A to point B. These all ways are you know available for you to travel from point A to B. But let's say. You have to go from country A to country B. You won't be requiring a bicycle, right? You will be taking an airplane, right? From one country to another. Uh, an airplane will help you to move from point A to point B in a much more comfortable way, much more quicker, and much more safer way. Okay? I know it's very, you know, very crude, crude analogy, but I hope you get my point. Is it clear to everyone? Uh, yes, Arshit. But so yes. that's the limit, limited scope of an automation testing tool. That's it. RPA tools have much more wider scope. And one more thing, let's say you have, have automated, you know, I have created a script in Selenium. Those who those who have worked on Selenium or maybe have seen some videos or you know, seen your colleagues working on it. Let's say you are automating a web portal. Even for you know very simple step like just launching the browser, entering the URL, you have to write up lengthy script, then you know, then fix the issues if any uh, you know are present while you're testing the script. It will take you a long time. But the same task you can do in any RPA tool within within you know hardly one or two minutes. So the same uh, task is much more easy. Yeah, sorry, Sirak, go ahead. Sorry, Arshil, but th that's true. Uh, see, uh, when we compare it only with Selenium, right? Um, mm -hmm. As you rightly yes. said, right? See that the yes. question comes on a table. It's Selenium is uh, you know zero cost tool, right? It's a freeware. It's it's a open source tool. So yes. then Selenium has its own advantage. But what I basically have understood mm -hmm. uh, after my experience, mm -hmm. right? Selenium, mm -hmm. maybe, uh, you know, it. if you compare it with Selenium, right? It is mm -hmm. maybe a web based tool. It cannot, uh, you know, automate applications which are um, desktop based, right? So that those are some of the advantages, I think. But uh, see, uh, the, the question comes, right? If we can, uh, lining right of code is right, what you uh, correctly mm -hmm. said, right? That's mm -hmm. more effort, right? But yes, exactly. That, uh, Platform independent, right? Selenium cannot work on uh, machine learning, as you said, right? Whereas this Blue Prism can automate end to end application, whereas it, it could be as if it remains. Yes. That's what uh, I think the advantage yes. you also said, right? Yes, that boils down to, as I said, that boils down to the scope what an automation testing tool can do. Basically, Selenium is just a you know Java class or just a jar yeah. file. You can open it in any language. Correct, correct. Very it has its very own limitations. You know, you cannot. Automate mainframe. You cannot automate Citrix. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you yes. you may automate you know a web portal end to end, but it will take a huge long, a very long time for you to properly write in scripts, properly write scripts, okay. test it. And first of all, we are talking about actual production processes. You know, so a lot of factors come mm -hmm. into picture. 
it's a open Correct. source tool no one no one cares if you know if your if your uh, solution you know leaks the confidential data if it is visible but when you're talking about customer data the tool the i mean the way your processes processes automated processes are going to run they should be highly secure they should be you know logged they should they should have an audit trail all those things come into picture Correct. that's where the rpa tools come into picture okay it's not about just you know opening a portal just you know automating some things we are talking about uh, processing the actual transactions with actual production data of customers okay these th these all things would be missing totally from these test automation tools okay correct now as the the analogy which i gave earlier i i would like to give a similar analogy let's say you have a knife and you have a sword okay they both are sharp agree they both are made of metal but knife has its own purpose sword has its own purpose okay you you i mean it would look funny if you try to you know slice a fruit using a sword although you can do it but if it, that's the not the that's not the intended use of that tool okay and you can yeah, no no soldier would go in a you know war field using a knife Although both are sharp, both are, both are made of metal, right? So they both have their own intended use, and one one tool may not fit in other scope. I hope my point is clear to you guys when I when I say the difference between RPA tools and automation testing tools. The yeah, reason exactly. I like, uh, yeah, please sorry. go ahead. Uh, have you ever come across instances of uh, you know I would say integration of these tools? I mean, in your experience. Integration like in, in, in the now. sense, uh, I mean, Selenium RPA used together, or you know, any no. other automation tool used with RTA, R, RPA together, likewise. Okay. No, no, RPA tools, first of all, don't require any integration of test automation tools, Vishal. They are self sufficient, they don't okay. require Selenium to be integrated anyway. I have not come across any use case till now, or any you know, any any uh, application of integration integrating a test automation tool with a Selenium tool. Yeah, and yeah, performance. Yeah, but... Sorry, just asking additional question. Yeah, go ahead. Any performance go ahead. related tool with RPA? Uh, till now, I have not personally worked on any such project. Okay. When you are testing okay. a performance, you know, uh, performance of an application using an automation tool. Okay. Thank so, you. So, Vishal, you can do that, but that yeah. would be like you know that would that would be like a using a very minuscule capacity of a tool which can do much more than just testing the performance of an application. Although you can do that. I mean, the tool is available to you. You can create whatever flow you want. Okay, got it. But that's that's like you know using a very small potential of the tool. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, uh, Harshil, I think just on adding to Vishal's point, right? We had a business yeah. case wherein the client already had done a lot of automation on Selenium, and mm -hmm. they wanted us to rather than doing the uh, net new, um, you know, uh, automation into. Uh, uh, blue prism they ask us to call selenium and see whether that integrates or not i think uh, that is that is possible that is possible i'm not saying that's not possible but that's correct. not the proper usage of an rp tool i would say agreed, agreed, because, agreed. because the point is because the point is Chirag, that when mm -hmm. you select an R, a rp tool be it whatever okay there are many mm -hmm. uh, you know tools in the market top three are blue prism ui path automation and these three are top three market leaders okay Correct. Now, be it whatever tool you select, you can automate Selenium also. You can do that, but that's like you know, you know. In, see, the point is, when you select a tool, you have to you know spend some amount of money in setting up the infrastructure. You know, you have to set up servers, yeah. application server. You have to take the license. You have to develop the process. Then you have to test it. You need developers. So yeah. all that just to automate the Selenium script which I already created does not serve any purpose. Correct, correct. But Harshil, the point is right. Yeah. I'll tell you the pain from the client side, and maybe uh, sorry for the other guys. Maybe I'm no, not no, to take no problem. Time, but this is kind of a real practical scenario, right? What happens mm -hmm. is right. So for example, your application is a code change. Huh? Mm -hmm. So your mm -hmm. Selenium is already working, and you have a regression suit. So you have done mm -hmm. that code change in the Selenium because your application mm -hmm. now wanna say for example a text box got added now. You know in mm -hmm. your flows, so your mm -hmm. Selenium script got accommodated uh, with that change. Now, mm -hmm. if you have a separate RPA uh, tool to do that automation, mm -hmm. you have to do code changes in two places. Right? You have to upgrade your Selenium suit. You have to also upgrade your RPA. Uh, that's, you know, that's true. So that's what, true. 
client what client says rather than making a change in two sides mm -hmm. what you ideally should do is you call your selenium through mm -hmm. rpa tool so do you don't mm -hmm. have to accommodate the changes into automation tool have selenium updated with your latest development changes call mm -hmm. selenium through rpa rather mm -hmm. than doing changes in several several places so that's no. what yeah mm -hmm. sorry go ahead go ahead I'll, i'll tell my point please go ahead yeah so that, that these kind of business challenges i faced when i was trying mm -hmm. to bid for these kind mm -hmm. of projects so yeah go ahead uh, so so first of all rpa tool automating the test automation tool uh, you know that's slightly you know very uh, that doesn't make sense actually you know when you're automating a test automation tool using an rpa tool because automation tool to already automate kar hi raha right now you want hmm. to automate the test automation tool with rpa tool nahi nahi client kya bol raha hai i'm sorry hmm. go ahead go ahead go ahead so your client is running the production data using selenium scripts is it what you're saying no 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 what client is doing is they have a hmm. auto selenium automation team in place okay. who are doing day in day out for automation, automation testing data. right for not ah, for so process is, automation uh, for automation testing right yeah yeah but in their process also uh, business process automation they have normal automation also, right that calls one of the branch calls the uh, selenium script now okay. the expectation is through rpa can you call selenium mm -hmm. and whatever scripts are up to date with the latest mm -hmm. development can you call selenium through rpa and run that that, that automation right because yeah yeah as i said you can do that rpa tool will can uh, can help you to run your selenium scripts also but as okay. i said rp tool being used for just test automation is using a very you know small potential of what it can do for you correct correct no that right? i completely agree with yeah. you that's not yes. meant for it. it's not meant for specifically yes. calling this yes yes but yes, if yes, you have yes. a business need you may want to do it yes in case you want to have some you know alternate usage side by side because see the license is available to you the tool is available mm -hmm. to you you can create whatever flow you want right exactly. but whatever saying is whatever saying is that's not the intended purpose when by because of which you know you will set take purchase license from the company set up the infrastructure maybe train your developers and then create and test and develop your process uh, develop and test your process okay but yeah okay. you can do that but rp tools uh, would ideally be you know work uh, used for creating process which will work on production data not for automating the test scripts that's that's what the point i'm saying exactly. but yes you can do that it is totally feasible because it's like maybe you know it's uh, you know uh maybe a small desktop application or maybe a web portal or maybe a script whatever you are doing as a human i mean the script run karne ke liye you will do it yourself right so right. the way the way you do that the rp tool will do that for you without your intervention agree agree yep got it uh, harshit thanks mm -hmm. so before we move forward any question from anyone please anything beat beat whatever what jo bhi aapke mann mein please uh, ask we'll discuss all the questions